We had a torrential downpour, which was a stark reminder of things to come because very heavy rain is forecast uh, in the next few days. So the weather window for getting the children out from deep inside this cave complex is closing. Now, as we understand it, things are pretty much ready to go. And although the situation remains fluid, as in there could be some last minute delays and hitches, we think things could start moving fairly soon. Now, the governor today said that conditions for evacuation were right. And basically, he meant that the water levels had significantly dropped. And the divers that I've been speaking to overnight said that they're pretty happy with the situation. So I think it could be all systems go quite soon for this incredibly risky and dangerous cave rescue. Divers say the cave looks like a James Bond movie set now with lights and wires and pipes, oxygen canister stations and heavy traffic of divers, Navy SEALs and rescue workers moving to and fro. Conditions now appropriate for evacuation, the provincial governor said today. Decent weather and continuous pumping have significantly lowered water levels down below. Some diving will still be necessary for the boys deep in their chamber. The escape of last resort, though, is still very much plan A. Even in the darkness, the desperate search continued for a sinkhole in the mountain high above. These men dropped onto the ridge by chopper, but no viable chimney linking the cavern to the mountaintops been found. Today, frogman diver mail brought anxious mums and dads the first letters from their sons. On pages ripped from a notebook, they wrote of their homesickness, cracked jokes, told their parents not to worry and fantasized about fried chicken. The 25-year-old assistant coach wrote to the parents too. I sincerely apologize, he said. I'll take care of your boys. That's him top left with his wild boars football team. The parents wrote a letter absolving him of guilt. Chanin Wimbunrungrung, who everyone calls Titan, wrote to his parents too. His father entered his 11-year-old bedroom today for the first time in two weeks. Taitun had said he was fine and couldn't wait to get to KFC. His dad recalled the day he disappeared. I wasn't able to contact him, so I tried to reach him again at about 6 or 7 p.m., but I couldn't. By 11 p.m. I knew they were trapped. For me, now I feel much better than during the early days of the search. I was so stressed out, being worried how we could live in the dark and damp cave. I'm still worried about how we could get him out safely. Nitipat Patanapat, better known as P, has three of his best friends stuck in the cave. He has written and composed a song for his classmates. It's his greatest wish right now that they should hear it. His friends, known by their nicknames, are Turn and Note, both 14, and Nick, who's 15. Turn and Nick are pranksters, P says. Note, more serious, but brilliant at football. This is Turn in his Real Madrid shirt, filmed yesterday. Although P says his favorite team is Liverpool. He called his song, Hope in the Darkness. Are you cold? It goes. Just hold on. Hang on to each other's hands and don't let go. I wrote it to encourage everyone in the cave, not just the boys, but all the rescue teams too. Everyone in the school knows our boys are safe now in the cave. We feel relieved by this. We are still worried. We hope they'll get out soon. You must be strong, he sings, but don't give up. Everyone is with you. Not to my